Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I'm your resident graffiti artist slash attorney. Today we're gonna to be talking about Lynchburg, Virginia and all the wonderful things that you can do in Lynchburg if you're planning on a trip there. So, I lived in Virginia for three years. I went to law school at Liberty University School of Law and it was a struggle, but I lived in a loft downtown and it was super nice and it was super fun to live downtown on Main Street. There was a whole bunch to do. And so, first things first, if you're going to Lynchburg, you're gonna wanna get downtown. The downtown area is super cool. On Main Street, you have a bunch of different restaurants um, and you have a bunch of restaurants all around there. So um, me and my husband just went and there's a really good sushi place. It's A-J-I Sushi. Aji? Ajai? Sushi was super stellar, so I would definitely check that out. We went to bootleggers, but we kind of got nauseous once. Shoemakers is a super expensive restaurant. There's like just a bunch of old people in that restaurant, and I think it's because they're all like dipping in their retirement fund to eat there. It was just super expensive. It was like 20 or 30 bucks for like some like not even cooked tuna. So then you have the Depot Grill, which I always call Home Depot, but it's the Depot Grill. And they're right on the train tracks, right near the James River. And they have super good food as well. Waterstone Pizza is also super good. They have this thin crust pizza that's like, um, it's thin, but it's got this crispy crust, this buttery flaky crust. Cru dang it. But anyway, so that's super good and their pepperonis are like huge. If you're looking for treats and things, we just went to Sin City. That's super good. It's a cinnamon bun place, so that's epic. Um, if you want coffee, you should definitely check out um, Mission Coffee. I had a raspberry marble cheesecake chai latte. That's a mouthful. Kind of like buttery flaky crust. I got it a second time. So that was really good. Dublin coffee is really good, but last time my husband went, he got super pissed because the wait time was like four years. But number, number, number one, number one coffee place, White Heart Cafe. White Heart Cafe has been an awesome study spot. It is a super chill, super old coffee shop and it has the best coffee. We always order the White Heart Snow. Well, my husband always orders the White Heart Snow, and I tagged along last time, and it was 10 out of 10, would recommend. I don't think they have it on the menu anymore, so watch out for that. Just go and be like, hey, I want the White Heart Snow, because this girl on YouTube said to do that. So if you want coffee, definitely go to the White Heart. Um, so, some other things to do downtown is there is a river trail. Downtown is right near the James River and they have trails that are like six miles long and then they've got another trail that has a tunnel and that's really cool. So you can walk your dog. They have little like poop stations for if your dog decides to take a crap and you're like, well, what am I gonna do now? No worries, man. Well, hi everyone. So we are on Percival's Island in Lynchburg, Virginia, me and the Pupper. And this is the James River, but also the James River is over that way too. Hence why it's called an island. Um, yeah, so we're just enjoying our walk. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm being pulled by the pupper. Must be some wild sniffs or smells in Virginia. That's all I know. I had to fall off the cliff here. So I'm gonna go before one of us or both of us get uh, mortally wounded. Uh, yeah, see you guys. They just have this huge field also for your dogs to run around, which my dog would just like run away. So good for those people who actually have dogs that um, like recognize you as their owners. But, so that's another thing to do is go waltzing down the river trail. Also, they have some pretty good places to go shop. They have some boutiques that are super expensive and then they have some antique places and estate sales. And it took me a good long time when I was in law school to realize that an estate sale is just dead people stuff. Nonetheless, it's pretty good dead people stuff. Also, if you want to stay down there, I think there's a Hilton right next to Liberty University, but that's kind of, that's like 13-ish minutes, 15-ish minutes away from downtown. So if you want to stay downtown, there's a bunch of Airbnbs in these new loft buildings that they're, that they're reconstructing because they used to be like 
industrial mills or something. I always thought if you got an Airbnb, <laughs> if you got an Airbnb, you're like 100% doomed to get murdered. Someone's gonna come out of the closet. But alas, no, we have stayed at two Airbnbs. That's hard to say. We stayed at two Airbnbs and they're perfectly fine. Like I didn't get murdered. Evidence right here. You didn't get murdered. It was fine. It was in a loft and they were reasonably cheap and they were right downtown and it was just really nice. So you can walk to the White Hart, you can walk to Dublin, you can walk to Mission Coffee, you can walk to the Dead People stores. You can walk basically anywhere except for to Liberty. You cannot walk to Liberty or you will you will die going down the 29. I ran my car off of Highway 29 into a fence and the hole is still there. So if you go downtown, look for a hole in the fence down the highway and that was caused by me. I probably shouldn't be proud of that. But nonetheless, speaking of Liberty University, my experience with Liberty is that their law school is super intense and they will try to kill you, but you'll end up a pretty good lawyer and you'll pass the bar exam. But if you don't want to go to law school there, you're just visiting for the weekend, I would suggest going to maybe one of their musical productions because we went to an orchestra production before COVID happened and orchestras could actually play together. It was really good. Uh, we enjoyed it like a whole bunch. And so Liberty has a bunch of productions like that. Uh, I'm not really sure now, but even if you just wanted to walk the campus and listen to the little Christian teeny boppers talk about their little classes and stuff, it's kind of fun. You can go behind Liberty and you can hike up to the monogram. And there's a monogram that says LU and it's just right on the top there. You can also see almost all of Lynchburg from that monogram. It's so cool. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot the most important thing. If you are going to Lynchburg on the weekend, you should go to the downtown market. They have a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables and breads and honey and t-shirts. Lynchburg is for local boys. They have artwork, they have tea. They just have all sorts of fun things. I think they have fresh meat. And I think one place actually does have chicken feet. So I don't know if people actually eat them or just make broth out of them. I'm not sure. But then again, if there's, if there's medical benefits, then I'm down. So yes, you should definitely check out the market. So when me and my husband went, we literally just stayed downtown. We didn't even move the car. And also when I lived down there, I just really enjoyed it. Christmas time is so much fun because they have all these old buildings and they deck it out with Christmas lights and wreaths and all this stuff. If I could live there, I would live there. Like I would be there currently right now talking about Lynchburg in Lynchburg. That's it, that sort of encapsulates my three years there. I lived at City Market Lofts and that's right downtown, that's right near the market. And it was glorious, like it was wonderful. Except there were um, these strange alien bugs that would come out of the woodworks every now and then. These centipedes, I'm pretty sure they had kneecaps, so. But other than that, it was fine. Other than the mutant alien ninja turtle bugs it was fine so yeah so that's it so those are my tips as far as lynchburg goes i hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe comment don't like don't subscribe don't comment be true to yourself